It is October, Susan. And you know what's the time? This is the first year we had a crop of the Mitchell's prolific uh, queens. We only have. Okay, October, and the time to harvest the concord. This year we had a really bad drought, and the pears have really suffered. There's ginger and trout. This is the radicchio that I showed you, I harvested it. I removed the dead leaves. Okay, first of all, I have to open the packs, get the garlic out, separate the cloves, and uh, then start. Okay, now the harvest for the apple red fall stuff. Queen's Beach is prolific. Here's Concord and the... Uh, It is October, Susan. Yeah. And you know what's the time? Yeah. For the apple. Oh, my this is the apple variety red fall stuff. Oh, right. They look beautiful. They look do. at them. They're the perfect shape for an apple, perfect color. And I'm telling you, perfect taste. I've tasted it already once. Oh, so easy they come. That's you see the parts that don't get the sun? They go red. And they're beautiful. Yeah. That's a perfect apple that you can never find in the supermarket like that. It tastes better than citrus. Yes, oh, here. The supermarket, uh, they, they keep them in the fridge, you know. That's the problem. Months, and they'll keep, they call them for six months before they even ripen them. Mm -hmm. So that's why they may not taste anything. Oh, here, yeah, I can see here. Yeah. Yeah. The small ones, I don't think we need to take the small ones okay. yet. They are all right. This one, this one also, we have to take it because mm -hmm. this the small one, I mean the ones that are not ripe. Yeah. It has a little blemish, but I would like to salvage it or yeah. feed it to chickens. Come here. Let's go the other side. Or yeah, I think want... we should go the other side. Yeah. And Susan, you see they're so ripe, they just come to your hand. Yeah, look at this one. And this lovely pear here. Isn't it beautiful? That's the best time of the year, when you see the harvest. Mm -hmm. Makes it all the worthwhile, doesn't it? Yeah. This one here. Oh, there are three here, two here actually. And there's two, this one there, it's yeah. that one ready. Yeah, this one also is ready. I will film it from top. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. The one from lower That's part, I will harvest it now. Mm -hmm. It had a lot of damage, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it gave a good amount of apple for mm -hmm. the size that it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this one is ready also. Mm -hmm. We don't want to keep it too much. No. Okay, there is a few left here. Oh, there is two more here. You can okay. see. Okay. Yeah. There is another one here. Show the harvest. Hold it. So beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's our little. I think, considering that's just a tiny sapling of a tree. Yeah. Hmm. How big is this tree? Okay, this tree is not bigger than you or taller than you. It's about. Typical mm, Celt. It's about what? A one meter. Yeah, 1.60, 70. No, 60. Easy. The top of it goes 1.70. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, it's a small tree, as we know. It's a rootstock, which is a 
I'm 27. There's a few left there. I keep them just to see what will happen. Probably they will grow. Who knows? Well, they could grow, it's providing the weather stays. Like yeah, yeah. Even if the weather goes uh, and we cold, I don't think the apples immediately get damaged. No. But that's a nice thing to see. Oh. Thank you very much, so, yeah. darling. Okay, now the harvest for the apple red fall stuff. Queen's Meach is prolific. Pears Concord and uh, Doina Docomis. Uh, some eggs, again Concord, again Concord, and we are going to enjoy this. Let me put one of these for the fun on our hedgehog. Whew. He's carrying it home. I am the William Tell, the son of the William Tell. Huh? Lovely harvest. Is it a beautiful season at this time of the year? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the first year we have queens. <laughs> so, that's the first. Really lovely queens, look at it. So lovely. And you were asking me, what is this? They are, <laughs> they are mold. <laughs> that's the skin, you never saw. These things, they remove it, but they should not really do, remove it because that's a protection for the queens. That shows the queens is fresh. We kept a few on the tree for Christmas probably. Let's just see how they will last. <laughs> 